Hester said, Mother, you're being a pest. Go elsewhere till dinner and give me a rest. I hate you, screamed Hester from deep in her chest, before stomping off at this hurtful request. While crying with anger and some indignation, bemoaning her mother's imposed segregation, she saw out her window with deep agitation a tiger appearing without explanation. Hello, said the tiger, please join me outside. Poor Hester just stared with her mouth open wide, while pondering deeply before she replied. I thank you, she said, but I'm too terrified. Tut, tut, said the tiger, your fear I can see, and tigers are fierce, but I do guarantee your safety and merriment, if you agree to come to my lair and have dinner with me. Oh my, Hester said, it sounds lovely, but no, my mother won't like it and won't let me go. I see, said the tiger, but I'm not your foe, and you're not my only friend coming, you know. Hello, said a bear, I am charmed to be sure, and dinner with you has a special allure. With you as our guest we will put on our furs, what a night we will have, what a feast will occur. Then Hester let out a most pitiful sigh, my mother will yell at me until I cry, for she's making dinner expecting me nigh. Pish posh, said the tiger, just look who's nearby. Hello, said a gator, how sumptuous you seem, and you at our table, mm, oh my, what a dream. I'm so excited I almost could scream, he said with a smile and teeth all agleam. How tempting, said Hester, to join in your feast, but if you knew, mother, your welcome would cease. She'd call you all wretched, dishonorable beasts, and keep me inside for a year at the least. How sad, said the gator, your mother sounds horrid, and said the bear, her judgment's distorted. But, said the gator, you will be supported, for joining with us will ensure she is thwarted. It seems, said the tiger, that I missed my cue. In my excitement I failed to tell you. Your mother will be at our fine dinner too. And the bear and the gator responded, it's true. Then Hester cried out an ecstatic whoopee and promptly climbed out of her window with glee. This changes everything. Now I am free to make very merry with mother and thee. And what a fine picture the four of them made. They danced and they sang as they marched through the glade. They strutted and rollicked and never once strayed en route to the lair in their beastly parade. At last, said the tiger, now do step inside. Discover what gaiety we can provide. Hurrah, said the gator, and how, Bear replied, and Hester with gratitude promptly complied. And lo, how the feast was displayed with great flair, the best decorations, the best silverware, and true to their word, Hester's mother was there, prepared on the table, plump and cooked rare.